Good morning. How are we doing? Doing good? Happy Monday. I love Mondays. How do I look? I can see me. Hey, I need to tell you something. Uh, as some of you already know, I am having a major issue with my text messaging. And uh, Apple phones sent an update, a major update, changing the software in the Apple phones uh, about a week and a half ago. And I've been having trouble with my text messaging ever since. So if you're trying to get a hold of me, just call me because the calls are coming through. But the text messages, uh, I can send them to a lot of people, but I'm not getting them back. So that's the reason you're not hearing from me is because I'm not getting your messages. So I don't know that you're trying to contact me. And everybody knows that I am a very quick responder. So I try to get back to people as quick as I can. But just call me. And uh, if I'm not able to answer the phone, leave a message and I will call you back as quickly as possible. And I'm usually very, very quick at calling people back. Hey, I want to talk to you today. Let's start out the week by talking about what you must do before you pray. What you must do before you pray. So many people, bless their hearts, so many people, when, there, when there's a need, they jump right in and start praying. Then they wonder why they're not getting any results. Most people get no results when they pray and they're not even surprised by it. They're, they're not even surprised. By it. They, they don't get any results when they pray. Okay, well, let's try something else. No. When you pray, you should get results every time. Every time. You should get results every time you pray about something. If it's something you want or something you need, you should get results every time. Is that, is that too much to ask for? Pe people get after me all the time and they say, you know, how can you guarantee results? Well, I do. I do. I tell people, if you call me to pray with you about something, I'll get results for you. Well, I, how, well, you think you're God? They say to me, no, I don't. Not even close. But I get results when I pray. But I don't just jump in and pray about something. I don't just jump in and pray about it. Let me tell you something. When you call me with a prayer request, I will usually very quickly evaluate whether or not I can get that for you. If it's something I can't get for you, I will tell you. Say no. No. God doesn't do that. God is not going to go against another person's free will. I will tell them that. They say, well, I know people that did this, and I know people... No, no. But if I know I can get it for you, I'll pray with you. I'll get it. Amen? But there's something you must do before you pray. Now, I want to show you a couple things here. A couple things. And that is, uh, number one, it tells us here in James chapter 5. You need to write down these verses. It says in James chapter 5, verse 15, it says, And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith shall save the sick. I got news for you. The prayer of faith will pay your bills too. 
The prayer of faith will get you saved. The prayer of faith will literally get you anything you want or need from God. The prayer of faith. The prayer of faith will get you anything you want or need from God. Now I'm going to show you three verses on this. Now, God answers the prayer of faith every single time. I want you to get a hold of this. God answers the prayer of faith every single time without fail and without delay. He don't make you wait. He doesn't wait, make you wait. People who say, oh, God's timing is perfect. Those are people who don't have any faith for what they need or what they want. They are willing to wait. Don't be willing to wait. If you're not getting an answer to your prayer right away, something's wrong. Okay? If you're not getting healed right away or your healing is not starting right away very quickly, something is wrong. If you're not getting what you need financially, and, and as far as, 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 as God providing for you, if you're not getting that right away, something is wrong. You need to find out what it is. I'm telling you what, wait, if there's something wrong with your car, you need to find out what it is. If there's something wrong with your prayer life, you need to find out what it is. Now look in James chapter 1. It says, If any of you lack wisdom... Let him ask of God, who gives to all men liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Let him ask in faith with no doubt. With no doubt. Let him ask in faith with no doubt, and God will give it to you. But you have to ask in faith. Now, the word faith actually is interchangeable with the word expectation or expect. The word expect and the word faith is one and the same. Every place you see the word of the word faith in the Bible, you could substitute the word expect for that. These signs shall follow them that expect my name to work. Expect. Expect. For let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, no doubt. He that wavers, that doubt, is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Let not that person think they will receive anything of the Lord. If you're doubt, if you don't, if you're not asking in faith, you're not getting it. No exceptions. Now, Pastor Jim Elkies. If you don't ask in faith, if you don't ask and expect to receive, you ain't getting it from God. Never. But if you ask and expect to receive, you will get it every single time without fail, without delay. Now watch. Jesus himself. That was the Lord's brother there talking, James. Now look what Jesus himself says in Mark 11. 24, where he says, Mark eleven twenty four. I want to read it word for word for you. <clears throat> Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, whatever you desire, whatever you want, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. The word believe, faith, and expect are all the same. Everywhere you in the Bible you see the word believe, it means expect. Whatsoever you ask, anything that you ask, when you pray, expect to receive it and you shall have it. <clears throat> if you don't respect, expect to receive it, you ain't getting it. Okay? There's three verses. All three verses are telling you Without faith, you ain't getting nothing from God. So if you're praying and there's no faith involved, I got news for you, folks. 
God's not going to answer that prayer, ever. But if faith is involved, if you expect to receive from God, he will answer every single time without fail and without delay. Now look at this. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. 2 Corinthians 13, 5, it says, Examine yourself. Examine yourself to see if you have faith. The first thing to do before you pray, the, the, what everybody has to do before they pray is examine yourself and decide if you have enough faith for what you want or need. If you don't, find somebody who does. That would be me. If you can't find somebody else, find somebody who can pray the prayer of agreement with you who has faith. I'm telling you what, if there's anything you want or need, get a hold of me and I will get it for you. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Call me. I will pray the prayer of agreement with you and you will get what you want and what you need. But you've got to have faith involved. Where two or more are agreed as touching anything, it shall be done for them by my Father, which is in heaven. You pray the prayer of agreement. You're going to get it. If that person has faith, and I do, tell all your friends, tell everybody you know who is sick or struggling financially to get a hold of me. I will pray with them, and we will get what they want or need. Hey, go out there today. Make it a great day. And remember this. God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. <laughs>